Hi. This will be your first forms for Phil 103, um, and I think this this is one of the more interesting sort of aspects of of, of the history of Western philosophy that I've come across. Uh, Socrates has a very very clever response to sophistry, and um, it's I don't always think that that response is given enough attention. Right? So in in these courses, I like to to sort of highlight the cleverness of Socrates' moral position and the development of that moral position. So on the one hand, Socrates cannot address the idea of a big T truth, right? He can't claim to be in command of all of the knowledge and know exactly how to ground a claim to knowledge, right? Or justify a claim of the moral sort. But on the other hand, he does not want to go as far as the sophist claiming that since we don't know the truth, there is no truth, and therefore we can use rhetoric to persuade people to gain money and power and basically our way. Right? Remember in the video where I was giving you the two senses of, of, of argument, right? the sophistic argument just tries to get its way. Socrates was trying to formulate arguments of more depth, and substance. So this first of the uh, the discussion forums tries to address what I think is a very clever way for Socrates to pay heed to an emphatic notion of truth without claiming it to be in possession of that truth. So the forum reads, Socrates argues for a moral sort of reasoning demanding justification for belief as the basis for justice but argues that we cannot know the big T truth. In the absence of such knowledge, how does Socrates defend this position? How is Socrates able to move from a negative epistemology, that is, the theory of knowledge, that is, we cannot know the truth, right? Is Socrates is he in Athens who knows that he knows nothing, that's why he's the wisest, to a positive ethics. Notice that Socrates is making very demanding moral claims without actually claiming to know the big T truth. Right? It's generally thought that, you know, we need to know the moral truth in order to make a moral claim. Right? You should do this. Well, how do you know? What's that based on? What's grounding that? Right? If you don't know the truth, how can you make that claim? Well, Socrates' position is an interesting one. Right? Because while we may not know the truth, in the big T sense, there's this whole laundry list of smaller T truths that we do know. Right? First of all, when we are making a claim to knowledge, when we do not have that knowledge. Right? So, um, basically, the idea for this form is to explore this claim. Right. And uh, just since this is your first one, a couple of notes about these forms. It's perfectly acceptable to ask questions rather than make assertions on these forms. It's perfectly acceptable to record a video like this one right? where you respond in video form. It's perfectly acceptable to get kind of creative. It's perfectly acceptable to give an elaborate example that illustrates the position or calls question to the position. It's perfectly acceptable to criticize Socrates. But the idea is that you start to generate a conversation because these forms are supposed to be your rough work area. Right. Well, you're sort of working out your understanding of this material. Right. So um, I hope you enjoy this one, and um, yeah, I look forward to reading your responses. Thank you.